um, said that like 80% of Hudokka's job is casting. Who said that? Uh, I believe it, the, uh, it was 90%. 90%? Yeah. Well, 10% of this is CG. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of well to take off 10%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep on going. Okay, now. nice. Okay. Yeah. It's true. Cause, no, it's, I, yeah. I often say that because when I'm directing theatre, I say the same because like, you get good actors in a room, you're absolutely rocking. If you get terrible actors in a room, there's nothing you can do. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good the script I is. Can't wait to put a lightsaber like, just <laughs> through. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Turn it on. Oh, Phil, that Rex! <laughs> Okay, so uh, exciting. We're here uh, on the first day of Casting Origins, um, which is going to make it all rather real. It's been almost a year in the making so far. Uh, it's going to be the first time I've heard actors uh, say their lines, uh, which will be interesting. Uh, and we're casting an all day casting for Ellie, so I'm really excited to uh, hopefully find the uh, wonderful actor that's going to play her. Um, yeah, working Martin Gibbons, who's a casting director, I've worked with uh, on commercials quite a lot, uh, so he's been brilliant um, at finding the right people. And we've, 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 I've watched loads of reels and lots of submissions to try and get the number down so we can spend a lot of like, real time with people in the room so we can have a chat, explain how the project's going to go, the fact we have to go to Morocco, and that's going to be really <laughs> intense and difficult. Yeah, we're gonna get in there. Uh, hopefully, film a bit and show you what the process is like. And hopefully, at the end of the day, we'll have our Ellie. But just going back a step, I just wanted to show you this. This was a PDF I put together um, for agents to look at before uh, submitting the script to their clients. Basically, Yes, we're paying people, but in a short film, you're basically paying equity minimum. And, you know, short films can be sort of turned a blind eye to by agents um, sometimes. And I wanted to show the kind of ambition, the scale, the quality of the film they were trying to make. And I didn't want to do this whole process of, of seeing hundreds of actors for one role. Basically, it's, it's an expensive process. It's a time shooting process. And it's a bit of a waste of time. You know, I had a very specific idea of the kind of look and feel of the type of actor and actress that I wanted for these roles. So I'll put it down on paper. This basically has... Um, a detailed character brief, a little bit about me and why I'm doing the project, um, the uh, concept art at the time, and some references for the kind of locations and the kind of look of the film. Because as we sort of said at the beginning of the video, 90% of my job is basically casting, you know. And at the end of the day, I, al I always preach this, is that people watch people first, you know, if there's no point having amazing visual effects and going to the Sahara and spending years making a film if your performances aren't very good or your scripts aren't very good. And these are things that, you know, you need to get right. OK, so back into the audition room. And uh, I wanted to show you a bit of my process of working with an actor in the room, the kind of notes that I give um, and, and how it might work. But what I want to say is is just my heartfelt thanks to hannah braxstone brown who is the amazing actress who's in this in this tape that you see now um she didn't end up getting the role in the end but she's given me permission to show you her audition and what i hope you find interesting and what i think will be fascinating is to see the choices that she made in the room and the choices that marie everett who did get the role um, in the room to show that the auditions at this level aren't about whether you can act or not you know it's not a kind of you're not just going after the oh, well she can act or he can act so therefore they get the role it's 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 more it's a given that they can act like you know these anyone anyone could have played this role but it's about the feeling you get uh, and I can't really describe um, or articulate it uh, about why one person gets a role over another person um, when it's not really a, a kind of about ability. It's just about a feeling that you get, you know, with that, that feeling when someone walks in a room and starts saying the lines that you wrote or, or becomes that character that's in your head. You can't describe it, but that's what you're always looking for. You know, the person to walk in that was kind of born to play that role from your perspective, from your own opinion. You know, another director making Origins, uh, you know, making the exact same script, might choose different actors, would definitely shoot it differently. It'd be a different film. And that'd be a very expensive thing to, to, to prove. So we don't have that. So 
what I wanted to show was um, me working with Hannah in the room and uh, and uh, and then I'm going to show you um, some of Marie's tapes as well. And again, thank you to Hannah for letting me do this. And please follow her on Instagram and Twitter and say hi and say thank you because I, I, I think this is hopefully fascinating for you guys to see. I think I was right. Don't worry about me. We've already been here much longer than expected. The, the Nazis are moving across the north now. If, if they find us... This is too important. It's, it's bigger than us. The world needs to know. The sooner you finish documenting them, the sooner we can get out of here. A place where we can both be safe. What I'd like to play is, is um, almost how sweet you find his worrying. Because okay. you're both not going anywhere. You've already had this conversation, right? It's too big, as you say, it's too big. But you, you kind of... Just wanted to add here that auditions for me are not about finding the camera-ready performance. So there's no point trying to get exactly what you're going to get on the day because what you get on the day is always going to be different, especially in a film like this that's going to be in the desert. There's going to be people pointing guns at you. You know, there's, it's going to be hot. It's going to be sweaty. Your performance is already going to be different based on the location that you're in. This is about showing versatility. It's about listening and understanding direction and working with an actor to... Um, see that they're understanding the nuances that you're after and being able to adjust those nuances in the room so that's basically what auditioning is about for me not camera ready it's about nuances and range so be nice if you just kind of you can always take uh you can always um mock him yeah like it's a bigger situation where it's like well as long as you fucking hurry up we can get out here yeah yeah yeah, yeah, okay. Bye-bye. 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 Do you think Akbar was right? Don't worry about me. We've already been here longer than expected. The, the Nazis are moving across the north now. If they find us... This is too important. It's bigger than us. The world needs to know. The sooner you finish documenting them, the sooner we can get out of here. I was right. Don't worry about me. We've already been here much longer than expected. The, the Nazis are moving across the north now. If they find us, then... This is too important. It is bigger than us. The world needs to know. The sooner you finish documenting them, the sooner the way to get out of here. Safe. Don't worry about me. We've already been here much longer than expected. The Nazis are moving across the north now. If, if they find us. This is too important. This is. It's bigger than us. The world needs to know. The sooner you finish talking about them, the sooner we can get out of here. They come up on us while we're in the middle. Don't worry about me. This is too important. It's bigger than us. The world needs to know. The sooner you finish documenting them, the sooner we can get out of here. I guess we're both safe. So this is the second scene, a very different scene. Um, and... I intentionally picked three different scenes for Ellie that were all very different because Ellie goes through, well, if you've seen the film already, he goes through a, a whole gamut of emotions in this film, so it's important that the audition uh, reflects this. I like to give some basic blocking to the actors um, so they're not having to worry about it. So lean against that wall, maybe you sit in this, maybe you do this, and then just let them do the first scene, how they've read it, before you kind of pile on any direction or, or, or sort of taint you know, their perspective on the script because you want to hear that unique perspective because uh, it might help you when it comes to direct the actual scene. The deserves to know the truth. These wars, terrorists fighting for their versions of gods, this, this could 
change everything because we're not alone out there. Can you not see what's happening here? This could end the war. My father had such naive notions. And I had to silence him too. Did the world deserves to know these wars terrorists fighting for they have versions of gods this will change everything because we are not alone out there can you not see what is happening this could end the war. My father had such naive notions. And I had to silence him, too. These wars, terrorists fighting for their versions of gods, this will change everything. Because we are not alone out there. Can you not see what is happening? Could end the war. My father had such naive notions. I had to silence him, too. Did you remove anything from the temple? The world deserves to know the truth. These wars, fighting for different versions of gods. This will change everything. We are not alone out there. Can you not see what is happening? This could end the war. My father had such naive notions. I had to kill him too. So I just wanted to include a little bit of the third scene just to illustrate what a one piece of direction can do to change an actor's whole perspective on a scene. So let me just play the scene how Marie did it first, and then I'll explain what the note is. You won't believe this place. I don't have long. Whatever you do, stay hidden. Why? The war just reached us. Get out of there. I won't let them take us. I'm coming. Don't be foolish. You have to tell the world what we found, or this has all been for nothing. Ellie, no. So the line, I won't let them take us, at this point, we know that she's pregnant. And in the scene, she's being surrounded by Nazis and tanks. There's basically no way she's getting out of there. So the, the subtlety of the script is, and of that line is, she basically means she's going to commit suicide. And I know that's a very dark place to go to, but I really wanted... Uh, but it's very subtle and it's very subtle in the script and no actor coming into the room read that into that line even though in the script it says she kind of handles the lightsaber she looks down to the lightsaber and then says the line so just watch what happens the next time she's the scene knowing that piece of information and this just shows you how powerful direction can be and how a scene can change dramatically just with that one piece of information Get out of there. Ellie! I won't let them take us. Hold on! I'm coming! Can. There's an omni right by the entrance. It's impossible. Never tell me the odds. Don't be foolish. You need to tell people what we found here. It's all for nothing. Cut 
to a year later. So we cast Marie, um, who amazingly stayed on board for a whole year where we had the ups and downs of trying to get the production together. Um, so then we came to cast Akbar. Now, I'd already cast Seth, who's the bad guy, um, and this is Hadrian Howard. And I've worked with Hadrian on a feature film called The Four Warriors, and I wrote the role for him because I just knew that he'd be, be able to nail this part. And uh, luckily, he liked the script and, and wanted to do it. Um, so what was great about this is that I had my Ellie, I had my Seth, and I had them in the room with the people auditioning for the Akbar character, which is great because you can really see the chemistry between the two. They're two very different scenes, but two very pivotal scenes. So uh, it was really fun to see how that would work in the audition room. And if you're still with me and enjoying this, and another hat goes off to Lloyd Notice, who auditioned for Akbar, didn't get the role, but I thought had an amazing performance and, and was but very different and obviously very different physically as well to the actor who did get the role, Philip Walker. So he's very kindly let me show you his audition tapes as well and then show you uh, Philip's audition tapes and then the scenes as they were shot. So yeah, really like the agency, it's really nice. So what I'd like to do is, um, I'll put this down if I get it not work. I mean, it's nice. If the lines get modelled up, that's fine. I'm not saying to me, I don't care. Well, just... <laughs> as long as the scene feels real, whatever. Okay. Um, uh, but to, to totally contradict what I just said, there was one... <laughs> <laughs> the words at the end. <laughs> So one of the things that's also good about casting is hearing lots of different talented actors say your lines. And this is one of the things where I actually decided to change the way Akbar spoke after I did the auditions. Originally, I wanted him to kind of speak in like a broken English. that He was kind of putting his words together. So it almost sounded like it was a bit Yoda-like. It was kind of a nod to Yoda. But it worked well on the page. But actually, once you saw some, you know, really good actors trying to make it work in a natural way, it always came across as a little bit stilted and got, got in the way of the tension of the scene. So when you see the scene in the actual film, you'll notice that the dialogue has kind of been smoothed out from this idea. Dr. Bamberg, Golden Master, they are here. Nazis? No, Doctor, they take my jeep at the back. Me. No. Time I will make. What is in the temple? Go now. And this is just a little thing I like to do in auditions. When a character has, a, you know, is coming from an emotional place, I like to give them the action cue. So you let the actor take as long as they need to get in the zone, and then they start the scene when they're ready. Okay, so again, just take your time, don't count how long it takes, you just imagine the horrors and then you, you, you start the scene. I mean, it's basically what I would do on set anyway, because, you know, you want, you want them to get to the place where they feel ready for the scene to continue, not just to react to you just saying action. Dr. Bomberg, leave you must. They are here. Nazis? Oh, hey. Bang! <coughs> Take my jeep. Have you back? Come with me. No. Time I must make. Walter. In the temple. Go now. Go. Dr. Bumberger, go you must. They are here. Nazis. No, my. The jeep is at the back. Go. Come with me. Time. I will make time. Walter's at the temple. Go now. Yeah, I mean, there is a guy with a machine gun right there, just so you know. Um, and Hagen's going to make contact with you, if that's okay. Yes. Yeah, um, but I won't tell you what he's going to do, because, you know, you can play the, okay. play the surprise of it. Um, any thoughts about this? My father gave you the map to pass on, didn't he? He knew that there is power in the truth. He was weak. War is here. 
This can unite us and make us realize we're part of something bigger, something beyond this world. We need change. I agree. War is here. This could unite us, make us realize that we are part of something bigger, something beyond this world. We need a change. Maybe let's bring her back a little bit the fire. Okay. Thank you. So. I was rebellious. Yeah, I, I, I've sort of the note been giving is kind of, um, you know, you're on trial, and this is your okay. last yeah. you know, defense. Defense. Yeah. yeah. My father gave you the map to pass on, didn't he? He knew that there is power in the truth. He was weak. War is here. It can unite us together to be a part of something much greater, something beyond this world. We need a change. I agree. My father gave you the map to pass on, didn't he? He knew that there is power in the truth. He was weak. War is here. This could unite us, make us realize that we're part of something bigger, something outside this world. We need a change. I agree. And that's uh, it. Um, I hope you found this interesting. It's turned out to be a bit of a longer video than uh, I expected, but, you know, um, it's good to kind of get in depth into the process. Um, and what was good about having the actors at the end was after we finished auditioning Akbar, um, Marie and Hadrian got to do their scenes. So we got some rehearsal time as well, which is always wonderful. Um, hope you enjoyed this um, and we'll see you on the next video.